Hi everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Welcome to Serpente Sunday for November 14th, 2021. This week I'm going to give you an update on our children's python Marcel, who was attacked by cats on October 13th. He spent a week in the hospital and then he had surgery on October 22nd to have the tip of his tail amputated. And what you're going to see first is us arriving at Kruger Care Animal Hospital in Centennial, Colorado. And then you're going to get to see Dr. Pfaff and her staff examining Marcel. left in a little bit of the conversation we were having, which actually wasn't about Marcel, but it was about our Papuan carpet python, Rosalie, who's had two surgeries there. To fix a genetic defect that she was born with, where the great vessel from her heart was constricting her esophagus. And I will do an update video about Rosalie, but her story is a little bit longer, so that's going to have to be in another episode. But you're going to get to see Marcel examined, and then Dr. Pfaff is going to show you and me two ingrown scales that she pulled out of him. And I'll explain that after the video rolls. Neurogenic, you're being bud. Oh, we've got a good, somebody on their phone has really good pictures of Rosalie. Oh yeah, I would love to have she that. She was coiling up the back of the x-ray computer. So her x-rays oh, are out would... and her head is right over the top of the monitor. Kelly. That would be cool. It was Kelly. It was the one that was. Okay. So. so. I guess I should really mention that the recheck you're seeing occurred on November 11th, 2021. So Marcel had his attack on October 13th. He had surgery on October 22nd after spending a week in the hospital. I picked him up the day after surgery on October 23rd. And then he's been getting antibiotics at home. And he's been in a little hospital enclosure where I could monitor him closely. He has eaten. I've been monitoring his urine output and his bowel movements and everything. And he seems to be doing really well. But on November 11th, I took him in for a recheck and he had his sutures removed from the tip of his tail, or at least that's what the appointment was supposed to be for. However, the suture came out when he shed. He had an ecdesis cycle post-surgery and a few days after he shed, the little skin that was left on his tail went ahead and shed out as well, and the suture came out with that. But during his exam, Dr. Pfaff found two ingrown scales, and that is where the cat's teeth punctured and pushed the scales inward. And even though he was getting betadine soaks and he was all cleaned up and he was getting antibiotics, those scales were growing into his skin. Skin, and so she pulled those out and that's what you saw on the video where she was showing something close up those were two ingrown scales that she pulled out Marcel has since been moved into what's going to be his normal enclosure until he outgrows it but he can't have any substrate yet because I still have to monitor him very closely and we don't want any debris getting into those wounds where she pulled out the ingrown scales. So we're gonna take a look at his new habitat. Marcel's new habitat is a focus habitat that is 30 inches long by 15 inches deep by 15 inches high. And the reason I went with this is my friend, whom you might know from Facebook as Kate Mistral, has two of Marcel's clutch mates. She's also had issues with them escaping from enclosures. And Focus made her this exact enclosure to prevent escapes of her little children's pythons. And so Kate was nice enough to contact Focus Habitats and they rushed delivery of this one that's the same specs as the one that has been successfully containing Marcel's clutch mates. And you'll see in a minute that the vents in the back are very small. I don't think there's any possible way that he can fit through them. But I chose to go with white. I've got all of his normal furnishings in here from his old 
habitat in his hospital enclosure, plus some new things for him to enjoy, including a hide box from blackboxcages.com. It has windows in it. I added all of the perches. It just came empty inside with the windows and I added the PVC perches and I added the little bar that you saw across the back because these children's pythons really seem to like to lie on ledges and they're really small snakes. They don't need a really wide shelf. So I added um, a bar at the back. Now here you can see my sales, my sales tail where it was amputated and not much had to be amputated but what was left after the cat attack was necrotic and it was just dead tissue and had we left it on there that necrosis could have spread to the rest of his body or he could have become systemically compromised by infection here you see the slats they're very 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 small like I said, I don't believe there's any way that he can flatten to get through those. And then that metal thing at the back is the bar I added. So he has a little shelf. There's his black box cages um, hide. And then I just have lots of stuff in here for him to hide in and climb through and on. And he's got UVB. He has halogen. He has a CHE. And then underneath his humid hide, which is his absolute favorite place to be, I've got a heat mat underneath the enclosure. Okay guys, we're gonna flash forward a few hours later because I wasn't quite satisfied with the way the enclosure was set up. So here you're gonna get to see I've added his cage cards and I've added a label. And then I felt like I wasn't exactly happy with some of the empty space inside the enclosure. So I added a paper towel roll and a rock. And then he wasn't happy with his heat. For some reason, he likes it really, really hot, at least on one end of his enclosure. And the heat mat alone wasn't doing the job. When I turned off all the lights after dark, the enclosure got down into the mid to low 70s. And even over his heat mat area where his humid height is, it was just hovering around 75. And I know from watching his behavior that he prefers higher temperatures than that, or at least access to higher temperatures than that. So I went and turned on his ceramic heat emitter, which I feel like makes the enclosure too hot. It seemed to make him really happy. And you'll see that he is in his humid hide now, all tucked in for the night, and he seems to be content.